Hey everyone, my name is Claire. Welcome to Web Dev Wednesday. Today we are going to start with the basics and talk about HTML, what it is, why it's important to learn, and then we're going to build a really simple little web page as well. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. I think of it as the language of web pages at the most basic level. HTML is used to structure each web page. It groups elements and tells your browser how to organize and format content on a web page and makes it look the way it looks on your, on your page. So before we start talking about what HTML is made up of and how to use it, we kind of have to talk about how using the web and how accessing web pages work. So I've got a graphic here that will super simple explain what happens when you as a user type into the address bar on your web browser you type in a url which stands for universal resource locator but that's not as important as understanding that it is an address it is directions to the page that you were requesting so the browser after you type in your url which over here i have a just generic example of something you type in you hit enter your browser is sending a request and it's sending it to a web server which is where sites are housed so the browser sends the request, the web surfer locates the file and the page that it's, you're looking for. A lot like navigating like your Windows Explorer to find a document that you saved in a folder would work. So you send your request, it locates the file and it sends the file back to your browser. And then the browser does the work to display that in a way that you can view. So browser understands HTML which when we look at it, it looks like a whole bunch of mumbo jumbo, but it'll display it in a way that we recognize. And here, any web page you'll go to, if you, you can view the source code and see the HTML that is the structure of the page. So HTML is our main language. CSS and JavaScript are the other main web languages. CSS is used to make your page look nice and it can manipulate the order a little bit, but it's mostly used for how, what you see. And JavaScript helps for how the page behaves and how the user interacts with it. But both CSS and JavaScript refer to the HTML, the original markup of the page and the structure of the page. Um, so it's really important to understand HTML before you move on to doing anything more detailed with a web page. So bare bones, basic HTML tags that you need to know before you start building web pages. We're going to build a one using some of these, but these three are the main structure of a web page. And within these, you're going to use, these are called header tags, these H1 through H6. They're just different size headings. This is a paragraph tag, which will denote basic chunks of text. And I'll show you that as well. Over here, some more advanced ones that I'm not going to go over today, but in future videos, I will go over divs, how to get images and links. That's what this one is in your web page, as well as lists and some other things as well. But let's start just by building a very basic web page. So I'm here in brackets and brackets is a text editor. It's a free text editor you can download and use to create web pages. And you can write in any language on here and just save it as that file extension. And then your browser knows to open it as that sort of file. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is just save as HTML tutorial dot HTML. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. So now it, it will know that it's an HTML document and brackets is not the only text editor out there. There's no note, basic notepad you can use even notepad plus plus is a little bit better suited for coding because it does some special things for you. Sublime text text wrangler. That's those are the basic text editors I would recommend and I can do discuss that further in the future, but I'm just using brackets. And the first thing you're going to want to do is do that HTML and look brackets will put in my closing tag. So the structure of it, this is an HTML tag and it's telling the browser, everything in here is in HTML and this just closes it off. So it's saying you can stop reading this now and the entirety of your page is going to be within this HTML element. And then the two, like I mentioned before, the two main, facets of your HTML page are going to be your head and your body and it closes it up for me. Your head tag is more information for the browser than for a user. So what you're going to put in here though that is really important is the title. So sample web page. And this is what is on like the tab and the browser window of your browser. And 
Other things you're going to put in a head tag are any metadata that you might have. And this is used a lot for SEO, but also viewport, more advanced topics like that. And here you're also going to link to style sheets, which is what you call a CSS file that will style your HTML page. And you can link to other things in here as well. And you'll also put in script tags as you get further along and you need to get some, if you need JavaScript in there or anything like that. But that's beyond the scope of what we're going to talk about today. But you want the title. If we save this and then go to my desktop and open it, desktop tutorial. So it's a blank web page, but if you look up here, you can see the title that we put in is right up here in the tag or in the tab. But the body down here is the information for the user. This is the content of your page. So let's just put a, put a heading in here. Sample web page. And we can put a paragraph of text in here. And I'm just going to go and grab some lorem ipsum, some standard fill text that we can use. Pull up my brackets, paste that in there so we've got a paragraph. Now let's say we've got a subheading in our content. Let's use a smaller heading tag. We're going to use H2. Subheading. And let's say we've got another paragraph down here and another paragraph. Okay, so if we save this and open it, we can just refresh our web page here because we already have it open in the browser. Now we've got all this content. So this is our H1 tag, remember, and we've got our paragraphs, which the browser knows to split up like this unless you style it differently and our subheading is a different size. So we could even bring up multiple heading size, sizes just in a row just to compare what they look like. So let's do an H2. And the spacing, these tabs and the spaces in here does not matter. In HTML the browser will read it and understand it and display just the same whether there are these spaces in here or not but it's a good practice to use tabs and spacing to organize your document so that you can understand what you wrote when you go back or other developers can go, go through and it's clear what you were thinking. So I'm just gonna do a couple subheadings in here with different heading tags just to demonstrate what these look like. We'll look at them all, might as well. And our final one is H6. We save that. We'll refresh our page in the browser. And then you can see down here the different sizes the subheadings go down to. So that's just a basic intro to what you're going to need to build a web page at the most basic level. And everything we talk about going forward from here will refer to these tags, these elements at at its most basic level. And here's that list of your essential HTML tags if you want to screenshot it or write it down because we will be referring back to this for future work. But hope you found this helpful and come back next week for even more web dev tips.